Why are pronouns so important to some people? I like them so you don't have to keep referring to subjects by their names every time. For instance, I say I or me instead of my him instead of Steve. I male had long hair over the summer, and I worked with children from all over the world in Oakland. They would keep calling me Mrs. I know they are just kids but after being called Mrs. For half a summer I completely understand why people get upset for fighting a battle I don't understand. That's just my take though. My language is gender neutral. So this is really funny to me lol. People mentioned name pronunciation already but I'll specify unsolicited nicknames. I like to be efficient but have learned to always check with someone before calling them Steph if they hate it and prefer to be addressed as Stephanie. I work adjacent to a state program and given the vast diversity of cultural names, having pronouns standard in email signatures helps figuring out the proper salutations and pronouns to use without having to figure out names I've never seen before. That it also allows trans NBGNC to display theirs without actively outing themselves is just a bonus. Same reason why some people don't like nicknames. If you wanted people to call you Jonathan, but everyone kept calling you Johnny, it would be pretty annoying, and you wouldn't like it. By using their preferred pronoun, you are referring to them in their preferred manner. Got called him once. I'm a 6 feet 3 inches dude, so I simply called the woman who did that sir, she looked confused, and we both went on with our lives. The real question is why do some people care so much what other people want to be called? If you introduce yourself as Richard, but call me Rick, I'll call you Rick. It's not that fucking hard. I know a million people with nicknames, it's never once hurt me or bothered me to call them by what they want to go by. For the same reason that names are important to people. They are how people are addressed and are highly personal. The best metaphor I've heard for this is that it's like stepping on someone's foot. If you accidentally step on someone's foot, immediately apologize, and correct the situation, you should be fine. They might still get mad at you but it'd be an overreaction. You go about your day. If you continuously, intentionally step on a person's foot, over and over again, even when they make you aware that it bothers them, then you're just being an asshole and deserve to get punched in the face for it. My wife goes by her middle name and hates her first name. A lot. Bad feelings. When people refuse to use her chosen name, she gets irritated. Rightly so. Same for pronouns. Be respectful. I know a bunch of people who go by they them pronouns. They mostly don't get upset if someone makes a mistake. But so often when a person gets another person's pronouns wrong, it's not a mistake, it's a deliberate attempt to assert that non-binary people don't exist or that trans people don't exist. It's as if someone says, in effect, I know how you identify and I don't care. So often it's not really about the pronouns, it's about the underlying anti-trans sentiment. Pronouns in and of themselves aren't important. What's important is acknowledgement of the human being in a way that is consistent with that person's self-identity. Pronouns happen to be something that we use in daily communication, hence, the prominence of this topic. You don't need to agree on the person's path or choices but the basic level of respect is respect to the identity. For the same reason your name and ethnic background could be important to you. People don't like to be misidentified. I, a CIS man, would not like to be referred to as she or her the same way a non-binary would not like to be referred to as whatever they don't like to be referred to as. It's common decency if someone doesn't like when you do or say something, you should probably not do or say that thing. I understand how upsetting it can be if it's intentionally antagonistic, but I do not think it is reasonable to have an extreme response if you get misgendered on a well-meaning first introduction. Most people are just doing their best to use English. Everyone has pronouns and it's not just an LGBTQ thing. It makes up our language. It's a big deal for anyone, CIS or trans. If you're a CIS man and someone calls you she, you'd most likely wouldn't like it. Especially if the person knows you use he him and not she her. 
the only reason someone might not understand the importance of being identified correctly is probably because they've never experienced the discrimination of deliberate disrespect for most of their life. Imagine everyone you meet calling you what you aren't. And I mean, actually imagine it. Tomorrow you wake up and suddenly everyone is calling you Hashim etc. if you're a man and then when you tell people to stop, some of them do but others get mad about it and call you woke or something lol. Now imagine that being your entire life. I'm cisgendered but that's how I interpret what it must be like. Pronouns are important to everyone, most people just don't realize this because their pronouns are respected since birth. On a basic human level, I think someone asking to be called a specific pronoun is someone asking to be loved and recognized for who they are perceived themselves to be. When I see it that way, calling someone their preferred pronoun is such a non-threatening or self-draining way to love them it literally costs me nothing but a few seconds to listen and then apply. Why would I deny something so small that is of no direct consequence to me but of great consequence to them? At their core, everyone wants to be seen, understood and validated. I mean, as a CIS woman, I don't like being called he him. I am not one. It's like being called the wrong name. It is not my identity. Because gender is important to them, and because names are important. You wouldn't want to be called by the wrong name all the time. A pronoun is just a substitute for a name. It is good for that substitute to align with your identity. I think a big part of it is simply to acknowledge humanity. Like when slave owners dehumanized black people by calling them you know what. Respecting a person's pronouns is to equivocate them to oneself in the sense of personhood and validity. If that makes sense. It's both basic grammar and also a sign of respect to whoever you are referring to. Decency and literacy. Because the wrong ones feel like wearing itchy pajamas that are three sizes too small. Are they not important to you? Try never using any. Gender dysphoria and gender euphoria. Gender dysphoria is a mental disorder that causes significant distress when being misgendered, deadnamed, being perceived as the wrong gender, having sex characteristics associated with their birth gender, etc. Gender euphoria is essentially the opposite of GD, but obviously not a disorder. It's the feeling of happiness affirmation by being gendered properly, called the correct name, being perceived as the right gender, etc. I think they are important to most people, if someone constantly referred to you as the opposite gender it would hurt you. A lot of people say they wouldn't care but that's because they aren't actually mistaken for the wrong gender. If it's a misunderstanding it's one thing, but the problem starts when someone does it intentionally, or consistently misunderstands enough to where it feels like no effort is being put in. It's an especially obvious issue when it comes to a trans person that people don't like. They won't intentionally misgender a CIS person they don't like, but they will intentionally misgender and invalidate trans people. As a straight female who has never questioned my gender identity, I couldn't possibly pretend to know what it feels like to be viewed labeled as anything else. People whose body does not match their identity often do not have that same confidence. I think pronouns are important to show respect. Respect that John prefers she her or they them. It hurts nobody. There is no negative impact by using preferred pronouns. It's important to everyone, and not some people. I'm sure if someone went around calling you she when you consider yourself a he you'd be pissed, or vice versa. Not everyone identifies with what they outwardly appear as. My question is, why are people hell-bent on not using them? It seems to come from ignorance and fear. You care about pronouns too buddy, you've just never had to defend them. Assuming you're male. Would you like it if every day, every person called you she home? Sure, a few times or whatever. But imagine every day having to correct people. It would get old, and you would undoubtedly get sick of it. Out of politeness, it's not such a big deal. How would you feel if you were consistently referred by the wrong pronoun?